Hello Flustio, my name is Tamara and in today's video I wanted to speak about uh, Nora Corbett's uh, how they say insect series yes about all of them because I uh, finished stitching the pair of pairs of butterflies so the two pairs of butterflies I finished stitching them so that's why first I'm going to share with you my um, stitching because it was a conversion and then I will show you the rest of the collection and uh, yes, I won't show you <laughs> these designs anymore unless, uh, yeah, unless it's going to be the uh, whip parade of uh, this year and uh, in case or when I am going to frame them. So um, I will start with the um, butterflies of the middle. They were the first I stitched and when uh, I said in one of my previous videos that uh, I am very inclined to start stitching them. I was like, right, because I was very, very, how do I say, ready to stitch them. And um, when work goes so, um, how do I say, so uh, nicely, I stitch quick, I don't make mistakes. And that's why I have such quick uh, finishes because uh, very often in comments, I have such uh, words as uh, how much time a day do you stitch? How do you do that? To, how you do that you finish your work so quickly? So my main secret is that when I really, really want to stitch something and I have a time for it, I uh, the work goes really quick. So this was the situation of these uh, two pairs of butterflies. Okay, so uh, what happened? This is what happened with the butterflies of the middle. More or less, they are the same, but the materials were used not all according to the key. I already said that I made uh, this conversion um, according to the um, uh, advice of an Ukrainian teacher who stitched them last year. So um, I tried more or less to choose the same um, materials, but in case I didn't have the materials, uh, I mean like the, for example, the silk floss. I didn't buy um, silk floss um, exactly the same she used in her own, just because uh, it was beautiful, but I tried to look for silks in my stash so that I wouldn't spend money for some extra money on some extra silk. Okay, so what do I have here? This is what do I have. I would say very nice butterflies. And um, if you would like to know how I did it, what I did it, in case you would like maybe to follow the same steps and make butterflies like this, um, I will tell you which materials I used where so that you will know as well. Okay. First of all, the only DMC which is required here, this is 3371. This is this dark, dark, dark brown. Uh, the thing is that um, for both designs, so when I'm saying both designs, I mean uh, this one, it's because I stitched one after the other, the impressions are fresh, <laughs> and I remember the usage of the materials, that's why I'm, I'm telling you. So, um, but by yourself, chew, because you'll use a lot. I had uh, two new skeins, so this is the third, by the way, and I almost used them all. So be ready that you'll need a lot. So this is the only DMC you, you will need. I have here the Whisper and I have it here because it's a reminder for me to tell you that I haven't used Whisper in these butterflies. So when starting uh, stitching the small uh, freebie, the small butterfly, after the uh, Australian dragonfly and they just got to the antennae, I realized that... Uh, I don't want them to be fluffy. <laughs> That's why I used simple like this one, DMC thread, and I didn't use Whisper. Even though I said that I would use a Whisper in all of uh, the uh, insects, so I didn't. This is the cruel truth. Okay, the threads. Uh, according to the key, it's recommended to use DMC very variations. So here it is. See, it's like 40, 60, 40, 70, these variations. I don't have variations, but I used the uh, thread gatherer instead. So these both are thread gatherers. I used willow green. This is uh, 047. And this willow green goes here all the, and here. So you'll use quite a lot of this willow green. Then I had blue sage. This is 122, 122. This one was used just a little, like it's here, you see? Comes here, this one. 
uh, then the cranic so these three cranics they were in the key um, and this is zero zero one everything is uh, number four braid zero zero one it's uh, zero zero five and it's uh, zero eleven high luster uh, this two this two they are used in the body of the butterfly this one, the black one, is used for some uh, cross stitches, but they are not so evident that this is cranic. So here in this butterfly, it was like here, here, and in the antennae. And for this butterfly, it was like here, here, and here. It was the cranic, the black cranic. But it's not so evident that this one is cranic. So if you have any other uh, black uh, metallic thread, you can use it with no problem. Then, what is not in the key and I used, this is the this green. This is 3215, and this one was used for the upper butterfly to stitch everything which is here, you see? I'll try, of course, to film closer so that you would see. Uh, then the lower butterfly, this big, big space, according to the key, it should be stitched with um, uh, 001, the uh, silver. Mm, this one but sorry this one got, got away <laughs> so this is how it should look according to the key you see but this one was stitched this i mean this part was stitched with uh, confetti from the confetti collection <laughs> this is uh, 043 you see this one went here and this one goes very well with this one as you can see and um, I had this one new in my stash, and um, I was not sure if it's going to be enough. That's why when I'm stitching this the part, I was stitching like a bit from here, a bit from here. So, because I thought that if it's not going to be enough, the uh, this side here, I'm going to stitch with this uh, thread. So I was not ready to buy one on my spool of cranic. I don't know why. So uh, that's everything about the threads which we use. By the way, the threads are not a lot and big chunks are stitched with the same thread. So it's very easy. It's a very easy stitch and it's a very nice one. Okay, speaking about the beads, uh, the only beads according to the key were this ones, 03037. And um, if you would look at the key, uh, one of the keys says that you need the two packages. So I thought about buying uh, two, but I thought that it's not going to be enough, so I bought three. So what you have in, in front of you, it's like two we used totally, and from the third I used just a little bit. So this is like almost the full third one, but still I needed it from here. So be careful with this one. By the way, by the way, uh, this one, this color of beads, they go very well with this Magnifica which were used in one of the um, um, dragonflies. When this one came, I realized that it would have been better if I would um, order the Magnifica, because Magnifica is smaller and it would have been nicer. But it was already too late. I already was ready to attach the beads. So in your case, when you're going to start, if you have the money and the willingness, it's uh, much better to recommend Mag to. Um, by Magnifica, so I would re recommend Magnifica over the simple bit. Uh, then I had the, uh, I don't know how to call them, the crystal. So I had like the same thing. I had like 02010, this is the bigger bits, and this is 42010, the Petit. So the Petit was used inside, like if you look on this one, like here, here, and it goes perfectly because it's uh, no, it's small and it goes very well. And here, everywhere, it will, it's used this one. The bigger ones, the bigger crystal beads, we use like here, here, on this edge, like here, they were used. Then, uh, everywhere, according to the key, everywhere where it's recommended uh, uh, this uh, color, it's used this color. So I haven't like changed it. <laughs> this one is used here. Uh, then what else I have? It's uh, it's delic delica beads. Uh, it's 175, and I need just a few beads, which 
I use like here, here, and uh, I used also like here. It's like four, I think, here, and five, and five here. So very little. And of course, speaking about the treasures, I used like uh, margaritas, the trial medium, even if they were not recommend, uh, recommended according to the key. So they are used like here as well. And in the body of the lobe butterfly, I used the um, um, Bikonosis, Swarovski Bikonosis, or four millimeters. Uh, the color is called crystal, if I'm not wrong. So these ones I bought like by mistake, hitting a shuttle line, I didn't buy the correct uh, the correct ones, but it's not a problem because it seems that I find where to use them. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think pretty much this is everything about the materials I used. Um, I like very much these butterflies. I like very much how they, they turned to be. Um, and that's it. It's time to show you the next pair. And the second pair of butterflies, this, uh, so according to the preview, they should be like this, according to what I have, they are like this, yes, they are totally, totally different. And um, this is what I actually have. Um, I uh, call them blue butterflies, so the previous ones are the green butterflies, these are the blue butterflies. If uh, you would like to know which materials I used to stitch them, of course, I will be glad to share it with you. So, first of all, of course, I needed a lot of uh, DMC3371. This one was a lot. Speaking about the other threads, so the main thread is this one, which goes like everywhere in the butterflies. In my case, it was blue lavender from Karen Water Lilies, and this is a leftover from my stash. This is... Uh, 017 the number of course you can use whatever number you want and i needed a darker blue i chose french blue this is gloriana and uh, this is uh, 176 so from my stash but this one this one is the main one so everything depends on uh, what you'll choose for this one for me it was important to choose such a um, thread which will go with uh, the cranix because cranix of here are also a lot. So speaking about the cranings, let me show you what I used for butterflies. And here I used a lot of different colors. So for the lower butterfly, I mean for this one, so what goes here is cranic which goes here. Uh, this is um, 1432. So this is the leftover I have. Then the cranic which went like here, like this with the edges, you know, like here and here. This was um, 92, 94, this one. And there is some green, green cranic which went like here, here, and a little bit like here, here and here. This is the one which I used in the green butterflies as well, and I had to buy this one because I didn't have it. 32.15, so this one. So yeah, except like the beads and the other things, this would be all the materials I used in the lower butterfly because I didn't even need that one, you see? So two types of threads, two colors of threads and three colors of cranic and that's it. <laughs> that's it. For the upper butterfly, so I already needed this um, darker blue, you need just a little just a few stitches so they come like here a few stitches and here like a few stitches so this one you can choose from what you have for sure so if for this one you'll you need quite a lot and maybe you'll have to buy a new skein for this one for sure you can choose something from your leftovers from your stash so that you wouldn't spend money on one more but generally speaking according to the uh, key 
So this one, we are stitched in DMC variations as the previous ones. And uh, for the upper butterfly, the cranic which was used because the cranic is different here. So the green niche one which comes like here, you see, uh, it's uh, this one, not three, two cranics. It's uh, 91, 94, and this one is like very, very left over. I just have this one in, not in number four, in number eight, and I wanted to show you the color, you see. So this this is was the one, and uh, for this part which is a lot and here and here, this is thirty two twenty three and I had to order one of this as well because uh, I had a little bit but I I knew for sure that it wouldn't be enough and it wasn't enough. <laughs> Speaking about beads, here I used just two types of beads. I used the beads which were in the previous ones. This is zero three zero thirty seven. This ones and in this design I needed a lot of these beads <laughs> and also the crystal ones were everywhere where you see crystals it was zero two zero zero two zero ten so this one it was this one and um, yes I have some treasures as well because of course I used the uh, um, margaritas for this as well for this as well and in the lower one I kept the tradition of the previous butterfly and I added uh, in the body some uh, crystal um, beaconuses uh, by uh, um, um, Swarovski. By Swarovski. Beautiful. I adore them. <laughs> I honestly adore them. And um, yes, this would be all about the uh, butterflies which i stitched quite quickly and with a great pleasure And uh, let me remind you one more time what this whole collection of insects by Nor Nora Corbett consists of. And in such a way, I have the emerald dragonfly. I have the silver dragonfly. By the way, I made changes to its body. So I uh, took out the big uh, emerald beads. So I left the beaconuses, which were according to the key. I took out the big emerald because they were like this, they were too big. And I have the um, emerald beads, which were according to the key somewhere here. I use them everywhere, absolutely everywhere, and I love the result. I love very much how this one turned to be. Then I have a third dragonfly, which is the Australian dragonfly, the last one which I stitched and I showed to you many times. Then um, from uh, the freebies from the Virabilia um, um, site, I stitched last year such a butterfly, but then I realized this year that its colors wouldn't go with all the insects. That's why I stitched another one, which is in the colors of the Australian dragonfly. Yeah, and then it comes also a freebie. This is the bumblebee. It's a beautiful this one, by the way. It's a very, very beautiful this one. I'm doing like this so that you, you would see how the treasures, the beads <laughs> sparkle. 
Sparkling is everything about this design, so without the sparkle, they are nothing. <laughs> and the last two designs, of course, these are the butterflies, butterflies of the middle. And the... I don't know how to call them, because they are not butterflies of gold. They are lavender butterflies in my case, or hydrangea butterflies, because they remind me very much of the colors of hydrangea. Okay, and this would be... And in the end of the video, I will um, insert my video from uh, Central London. I think the whole planet knows that uh, Queen Elizabeth II unfortunately died uh, last week on the 8th of September age 96 and um, she died at uh, Balmoral the um, royal um, residency in uh, Scotland that's why um, first of all there, there was the um, how do I say the procession there in uh, London, uh, she was brought uh, Tuesday, it was around 9 o'clock, I think, in Buckingham Palace. And um, yesterday, the 14th of September, because I'm filming, I filmed this, this little uh, things, these things, on the 15th of September, it was like um, the transferring of her coffin from the Buckingham Palace to the Westminster Hall. It was a very nice um, um, procession, I don't know how to call it this one correctly. The royal family was following her coffin. Um, I wanted to go to to see that one, but uh, it started at 2.30 in the afternoon and at 3.30 I have to be at school uh, taking out my kids, so I couldn't go. But um, nevertheless, I decided to go today and see what's, uh, uh, what is happening there. Mm, I uh, wanted, of course, I wished to get inside the uh, Westminster Hall, but at the moment I was there, because I left the child at school and I went there, it was like almost 10 o'clock and the length of the queue was um, uh, 3.4 miles, I think. It was even farther than the Tower Bridge. So uh, I, would, I, I wouldn't have uh, any chances uh, to stay so much time in the queue and then go back in time to take the child from school. That's why I just went there. Um, um, try to film some things, but uh, of course there were a lot of people and there were a lot of uh, units uh, preparing uh, the center for the father ceremony.